What's up guys, we're here, welcome back to the channel. So today we are gonna be checking out the Diablo 4 patch notes from yesterday's um, dev stream. Now, I do have a video going over the entire dev stream, guys, so if you guys do wanna uh, check that out. We are two week buff barb, the campfire chat recap, please go check that out. But today we're gonna be going over all the juicy details of the patch notes. And this is gonna be coming in four days on Tuesday. Uh, March 5th so I haven't read over this I kind of just like loaded it up and just made sure we were on the right one so we're gonna kind of be looking at this together I'm gonna try to quickly go through this so the video isn't too long and just give you the really good juicy uh, content from it and then hopefully you guys will be able to see uh, you know be excited for this mid-season update with the gauntlet that's coming on the 5th so let's get right into it don't want to waste any more of your time so um, as we just touched on in the video uh, yesterday, Vampiric Powers are coming back. We've kind of went already over these. The ones that are coming are Cursed Touch, Metamorphose, Blood Boil, Hectic, Undying, and On the Moon. Um, or On the Moon Rise. All of these have been illustrated and you have the descriptions there. We talked about those yesterday. Uh, the balance updates is really kind of more what I'm curious about with all of the classes and just the exact buffs that we're going to get. Um, so... Let's see. General with unique Ring of Starless Skies now shows a buff on the bar while active. Thank you. I have been talking about this since we made our Blizzard builds this season, and I've talked about it many times on the stream during my like live gameplays. It just be, would be really cool to know that this buff is actually going on besides just trying to recognize that your damage is increased. So that's really nice. Pen of Greaves. The chill damage is increased. That's really nice. Uh, the Dawning Sky, the maximum uh, res has been increased. I don't think anybody really uses these leggings or these legs, but it will be really interesting. Maybe this will really help some people kind of max out their re resistances. Mother Embrace, uh, resource refund is increased up to 50%. This is really nice, but I kind of feel like Mother's Embrace just needs a uh, kind of rework. Nobody really uses this. Uh, I did try this on Pulverized Druid for a little bit, especially during the like leveling process after 50 to like 80. And so you kind of really get everything you need for the build just to try something different to, for resource management. But now it's super easy. So Mother's Embrace just to me needs a rework, but the uh, refund is kind of nice. So legendary aspects, inner calm damage has been increased. So for those who don't know, inner calm is when you're standing still, it racks up stacks. And once you reach the maximum, it was 30%. So now you'll do 40% more damage only when you're standing still. This is a huge legendary aspect that is used for boss killing, especially Duriel. You run up, you stand next to where he spawns, you rack up the stacks, boom, you hit them for 8 trillion damage. No big deal. Retribution, the stun chance has been increased. That's nice. And then damage has been increased against stun by 5%. This is really cool. This is actually a really good, strong uh, ability. This is nice. And then Starlight, the amount of life healed needed for resource charge has been decreased by 5%, which is kind of nice. I don't think anybody really uses this, but that's kind of nice. Okay, let's get to the meat and potato. Let's go over all the exact details on these classes. I'm going to try to just kind of zoom through this, guys, and just kind of give you the highlights here, and then I'll give my thoughts at the end. So we got Bash. Damage has been increased with Fury Gain. This is something they talked about yesterday. was trying to help Barbarians and Druids, when we get to Druid, increase their resource management, especially in the early levels, to make it a little bit easier to play these classes because it's so rough until you get to the later game. So Battle Bash. Fury has been increased. Additional Fury with two-handed weapons. Frenzy's damage has increased. Flay's damage has increased. Uh, enhanced Flay. The Vulnerable Duration has been increased by a second. That's nice. Ground Stomp, very good. Fortify has been increased as well as damage. And then Passives, Fury increased up to 30%. Nice. Okay, Fury Gain, that's pretty good. Paragon, Executioner. The previous is while you have a pull arm, you deal more damage. But now while wielding it, you deal damage. This makes sense because there really wasn't any builds, in my opinion, with Barbarian that where you were actively using a pull arm, which basically made Executioner do nothing. So now it's while you're wielding it, so you're just you just have it on you, uh, you get the extra damage, which is really nice. Uh, Aspects Iron Warrior damage has been increased, uh, and then the devastating wraps we know about from yesterday, whirlwind and damage increase with whirlwind. Big buff there. Druids same thing. So we got Earth Spike. The damage has been increased so along with Spirit Generation, which is really nice. Same thing with Wind Shear. This was the big highlight yesterday. 
Claw, all the spirit generation from all the basics, it looks like, even Maul. And the damage has been increased a lot, too. This is kind of nice. Um, then Wolves, here's the big one, all of your companions. So the increased passive and active damage on all of them by a substantial amount. These, This is actually really good. I do like that they are buffing the basics. Uh, that's really nice. Quick shift damage bonus has been increased. Bestial Rampage damage has been increased. Urzine Strength. The damage and overpower bonus is increased by 5 more percent. This is nice because Pulverize is my favorite Druid build. So good. And then Perfect Storm also increased. Really nice buffs here. Seismic Shift. Uh, the cooldown and then Earth Spike gains. So the previous was Earth Spikes launch and have a cooldown nobody ever used that earth spikes gain um now it is earth spikes gain additional 50 percent bonus damage they launch in a line and have a uh, cooldown so they just gave it more damage i don't think that's gonna matter but we'll see storm's companion we got a highlight of this uh showing how much of an increase this is it's really good uh, Necromancer, we talked a lot about this yesterday. So we're getting flat damage and life increases across everything. Skirmishers, Defenders, so all the skeletons, all the different mage types, as well as the Golem, super huge. Uh, I really hope that after this update that minions will actually be viable in Diablo 4. So uh, skills, Blood Surge, damage bonus per enemy drain has been, been reduced. So the damage bonus has been reduced by 5%, but the Nova damage has been increased. The goal of this is to change or reduce the opportunity cost of Blood Surge against fewer members. And then increasing its overall power. Interesting. Okay. So then uh, damage bonus has been increased. This is a big one I was curious about was Sever because it's one of my favorite builds from Season 1. So outgoing damage has been increased as well as returning damage. This is fantastic. Damage has been increased up to 75%. Wow. And then the vulnerability is three seconds. That might actually be really good. Uh, blight has been increased. Paranormal Blight. Corpse Explosion. The damage is increased by 21.5%. Wow. Super strong. Blood Wave also increased. I always like that ability. It's pretty cool passives death's approach this was the one that was changed so now we gain up to 12 percent move speed we know that we know about spiked armor death's embrace damage reduction from close enemies has been increased that's really good hellbent damage bonus has been increased as well as crippling darkness and then new they changed it darkness skills have a chance to stun and deal shadow damage to them instead of a chance to stun that's it so now we get a chance to stun and do more damage. That's kind of cool. Cult leader as well as uh, corporeal, the paragon stuff. Bonus minion damage per 20% attack speed increased. And then additional bonus, you and your minions deal more damage. Uh, that was the previous. And now you and your minions deal increased damage and you get the movement speed. So good, man. Aspects, damage reduction also applies to the player in addition to their minions. Ooh, that's really good. Blood bathe damage of blood start echoes in D from 60 to 50 percent less damage to this is so much better for blood surge and the extra blood novas that pop out. Now we're going to be doing basically 10 percent less damage instead of 50. So good. All right, let's check out the sork. Pretty excited about sork here. Incinerate, I know this is buffed, but I don't think it's going to matter. Um, Hydra's been damaged, has been increased. Ball lightning damage is increased by 10%. This is very interesting. Hmm. I wonder if ball lightning... I wonder if the devs feel that they nerfed it just a little bit too much. Icy Veil barrier generation is increased. Snap Freeze, the lucky chance has been increased. That's good. Soul Fire for uh, Pyromancy skills. You're, they cost less and deal increased damage. And then they double after standing still. Man, they're really trying to push Incinerate, huh? Uh, avalanche damage has been increased and then shocking impact damage is increased wow that's really good the shocking man ball lightning is going to be pretty good ball lightning is going to be pretty good okay paragon frostbite damage increased uh evocation damage increased stalagmite enchanter conjurer and unleashed all increased okay i like the glyph increases for uh sork this is going to be really really nice uh, aspects, Searing Wards, 
Uh, mana cost has been reduced from one to 200 to 75 to 125. And then overwhelming currents, chance is increased by 5%, or no, five on the low end and then 10 on the high end. Interesting. Okay, maybe maybe that would actually be a usable. I don't know. Let's check out Rogue really quick, guys. Heartseeker, now we did talk about this yesterday. So Heartseeker, first of all, Arrow have been increased and the lower power interrupt frames. So they changed this. So the speed is gonna replicate puncture. So these these will actually be viable, uh, which is really nice. The flurry, I kind of hope that the 10% damage is more, but we'll see. Previous, if flurry hits any vulnerable enemies, it makes all enemies hit by the cast vulnerable. Now, wait a second. Flurry deals 20% increased damage to vulnerable enemies. If flurry hits any vulnerable enemies, it makes Oh, so they added 20% increased damage. Ooh, Flurry might be might be that that skill, guys. Might be that skill. Uh, and then advanced is evading through enemies, causes your next flurry to auto stun. Whoa, that's super good. Uh, that was the previous, but the new is evading through will cause your next flurry to deal 30% increased damage and stun. Oh my god, flurry's good. So really you're getting a 60% increased damage with flurry. That's kind of nuts. Rapid fire's damage has been increased as well as rain of arrows. Interesting. We knew about the precision stacks from yesterday. Infusion cooldown has been increased to a second. That's good. Uh, encircling damage increase. Barrage. This has been changed. This is the big one. I'm really hoping that I was talking to um, Dioxide, big rogue player for Max Roll and Blizzard. Uh, shout out to him, by the way. Uh, hopefully, this will get us really close to multi-shot with the ricochets so if you put this on your amulet you're gonna have 120 percent uh chance to ricochet um it'll be a 90 percent chance to ricochet and do 100 percent increased damage 120 percent increased damage so this is going to be nuts and then shadow slicer has also been increased by up to 300 percent base damage insane so unique items they actually changed some i'm really curious about this as well guys so uh damage bonuses increased for eagle horn just flat uh eyes in the dark death trap has been increased i really like death trap and it kind of just faded off after season zero season one ish and then band of trickery which is the um ring from the malignant hearts cool down to shadow and then the damage has been increased so that might be okay the seneschal we already know the changes they basically did it so we don't have infinite damage and then the rest is kind of the uber craft which i think is still a big l from five to four and then player profile updates players equipped skills are now displayed in their profile that's awesome emblems are also displayed cosmetics uh etc so the rest is a bunch of bugs guys so um i will end on this i really love all the additional buffs especially to skills that we're not necessarily using and other really cool passives as well as paragon uh glyphs that are going to make builds just run a lot smoother and feel a lot better a good example of this is sever and then <clears throat> or with the rogue with your basic skills which i think is just great uh the minion buffs are huge i really love that i love the generator increases for not only the barbarian but the druid as well even though the barbarian is insanely powerful it's still going to be the best class in the game so uh and then a huge w for starless skies showing up on the bar i absolutely love this guys i'll link this down in the description below if you guys want to read over this a little bit more thoroughly than what we did but overall i really do like this and i hope that we actually have a blast with the gauntlet i'm going to be doing the gauntlet on my sorcerer as well as my druid which will be really fun i'm going to do pulverize as well as probably bouncy bouncy fireball and blizzard and maybe something else so yeah like the video guys comment down below i think the patch notes are actually a big dub make sure to comment and get the conversation started be constructive guys i really do appreciate it I try to interact with you guys and it's awesome so make sure to comment don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications guys and as always stay gaming and i'll see you guys in the next one peace